Good morning, I'm Susanna Reid in the Breakfast Studio in Salford. It's Wednesday the 17th of April in other news this morning. We'll also bring you the news, sports and weather where you are at the usual times. And for a national weather forecast, Carol has that. It's very much indeed. The FBI says the bombs which exploded at the Boston Marathon, killing three people, were packed with nails and ball bearings and may have been contained in pressure cookers. An eight-year-old boy and two women died in two blasts near the finish line of the race. President Obama has called the attack an act of terrorism. He's expected to travel to Boston tomorrow to speak at a service for the victims. Well, our correspondent David Willis is also in Boston for us this morning. David, good morning to you. Uh, enormous pressure, of course, on investigators to find out quickly who might have uh, been behind this attack. Uh, any information coming out about that? But David, thanks very much indeed. David Willis reporting on the latest on that investigation in Boston. At 11 minutes past six, a British coach driver has been killed and three passengers seriously injured after a crash in the French Alps yesterday afternoon. Vaccination clinics are being held in schools in the Swansea area as health officials try to halt the measles epidemic. The supermarket giant Tesco is this morning expected to unveil its first fall in annual profits for 20 years. A mystery which has puzzled scientists for a decade could have been solved. This, which apparently shrank as it adapted to its new environment. 30 minutes past six. Um, congratulations to Cardiff Sally. Oh, it's nice. Do you, know, do you remember last year there was all that fuss because they changed their very famous blue kit to red? And everybody, me included, said it was be a disaster. You can't possibly having have them play in red. Well, it obviously hasn't done them no, much harm. So right. yes, congratulations to train home. Could potentially be stuck in London. So the FA has been very seriously criticised for staging the FA three o'clock. It's um, I think it's five fifteen. Right. 515. Um, but it means um, mean is still shrouded in mystery. They're not releasing details of how he's going to leave the route. No. Okay. I won't be keeping up with him to find out. Yeah, That's good luck. very much indeed. Um, let's have a look at uh, the front pages. And the sun, this is, um, this is the photograph of the little eight-year-old, Martin Richard, uh, who was killed in the bomb at the finish of the Boston Marathon. And uh, the sign he's holding, no more hurting people, peace. And in the um, inset photograph there, 29-year-old Crystal Campbell, who um, it was confirmed was also killed in the bombing. The Times here um, has a photograph of the whole family, Martin Richard there, and uh, his mum suffered a brain injury in the bombing, and his little sister, six-year-old Jane, lost a leg, a family who just went to watch the end of a big sporting event, and their lives are devastated. Um, the Guardian, they meant to kill, but who planted the Boston bombs? Um, the Independent this morning, Martin Richard really is the face of what happens uh, in the Boston and um, the Daily Mirror this morning. It has a completely different story. This about the um, British coach driver who was killed, four other Brits uh, injured in that coach crash in the French Alps. Ski workers being uh, transported, but many of them managed to get away. Number of injured being treated at the moment. Um, 17 minutes past six, Steph has the business news. Morning, Steph. Good morning to you, Susanna. Yes, uh, more about bonuses again in the papers today. Detail on Not that as just well. resigning from your job, also a fantastic publicity f stunt yeah, amazing for your new business. The, uh, yeah, in all the papers today, <laughs> this man knew what he was doing. <laughs> it's going to go far. Um, thanks very much thanks. indeed, Steph. 18 minutes past six, we are looking ahead to the funeral of Baroness Thatcher, which will be held later this morning as the UK's first female Prime Minister. She was, of course, one of the most influential political figures of the 20th century. And um, Charlie is at St Paul's for us this morning, looking ahead to today's events. Morning, Charlie. Very much indeed. In other news now at uh, 6.37 here on Breakfast. More details have emerged about the bombs which killed three people and wounded more than 170 others at the Boston Marathon. A letter addressed to a United States senator has tested positive for the deadly poison ricin. A British coach driver has been killed and three passengers seriously injured after a crash in the French Alps yesterday afternoon. Vaccination clinics are being held in schools in the Swansea area as health officials try to halt the measles epidemic there. 
The supermarket giant Tesco is this morning expected to unveil its first fall in annual profits for 20 years. Those are the main stories this morning. Carol will bring you a weather forecast in about 10 minutes, but it's all sunshine in Cardiff this morning. Yeah, Saturday congratulations morning. to Cardiff City fans this morning. They've missed out in the last, I think, the last three seasons in the playoffs. But now Wales will have, we've talked about at mm. length, isn't it, whether this will make people more determined to turn out and support the event because, of course, the organisers have said they are confident in the security checks, they are reassessing security. Yeah. Um, but it's a very honest answer from her as a mother whether she would determination I mean the organizers are determined that it will be a safe Sally thanks very much indeed well more details have emerged about the bombs which killed three people and wounded more than 170 others at the Boston Marathon on Monday the FBI says the bombs were packed with nails and ball bearings and may have been contained in pressure cookers so what else can these pictures tell us about the bombings James Forrest works for the and thank you for your company this morning as we look at those pictures um, what sort of evidence do they provide for analysis what what kind of things will FBI agents be looking at you mentioned the fact that the things necessary are available just in sort of a high street hardware store I mean is it the fact of the matter that this could have been put together by just a lone individual just tell us at the moment what is the threat level in the United States and what was it just before the Boston Marathon because you know, people are wondering, had there been a specific threat? Was that a potential target? And, and should there have been, you know, I don't know, extra security that wasn't put into place or, or perhaps was? Director of Security Studies at the University of Massachusetts. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. 6.46. It's time to get a weather forecast now. Here's Carol. Morning, Carol. Very much indeed. 6.54. Now, in just a few minutes' time, Britain's biggest supermarket, Tesco, is set to reveal its first fall in profits for almost 20 years. There was a time when one pound in every eight spent in this country went to Tesco, but something has changed. Me here, but there are some people that are saying, has it got too big now? Have they lost their focus, particularly in the home market? But have a look at this map because it failed there, though, the likes of Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's. They all tried to crack that market and it didn't work for them. Tesco thought that they could um, make the convenience store idea. To refocus on home. Yes, that's the idea because a lot of analysts hit them hard. And then on top of that, you've got the horse meat scandal, another big mm. issue for them. And I just want to show you this graphic too because it. All right, Steph, thanks very much indeed. That's all coming up. Time now, though, to get the news, travel and weather where you are. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes.